The two Copper Country schools are taking pride after receiving two statewide awards in academics. TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Sarah Blakely got an up-close look at these two schools of academic excellence. Take a walk down any school hallway and you will likely see trophies and banners for awards in athletics. But at two Copper Country schools, you can also find banners for academic excellence. Chassel Township Schools and Calumet Schools have both received awards from Bridge Magazine, an online magazine focused on statewide topics such as education. Calumet came in sixth place in the state for their high school test scores and placed second among rural schools. Chassel came in fourth among rural schools and third place place for their 8th grade test scores. Chassel principal and superintendent George Stacaro says the schools don't necessarily focus on winning awards, but they are a nice bonus. Our staff is very proud of the hard work we do. We're proud of our kids. Um, being a small school, we work really hard to make sure no student falls to the cracks. And obviously with these awards two years in a row, we feel we're on the right track of taking care of these things. Both Calumet and Chassel have notable awards in athletics, like these hockey trophies here at Calumet. But what they're most proud about is when their students crack open the books. Everybody celebrates sports championships, you know, to academics, and, and Chassel actually has not only been recognized for state championships two years in a row, but we've also been recognized five years in a row for having one of the America's best high schools by U.S. News and World Report. Seven awards and counting. And while students are studying and taking exams behind the scenes at both schools, the teachers are working just as hard to help students learn. What is their secret to success? You always want to keep it interesting. You want to students to enjoy themselves, but at the same time, Make sure that they're learning the material and, and engaged and try to do as many labs and hands-on activities as possible. In the Copper Country, Sarah Blakely, TV6 News.